Kevin Durant teaming up with Chris Paul, Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton sounds incredible. But it's not. Honestly, they're about as deep as a Californian puddle. They've got no bench. Yeah, sure, they've got KD. They might sell a few t-shirts, but they're not getting any rings anytime soon. Out of this whole thing with Kyrie and KD, I think the Nets actually came off best. Yeah, they might not have too many superstars anymore. They've still got Ben Simmons, who's scared to shoot. But overall, they've got a pretty good bench now. Their team is packed out well, and it's all spread out quite nicely across both forwards and um, uh, front court and back court. I don't see that from both Dallas and the Suns. The Phoenix Suns now just have four superstars to put on the back of the jerseys and absolutely no one else to come off the bench and, you know, carry the team whilst the others rest. And Dallas now has to juggle between a point guard and another point guard both of whom are supposed to be some of the best that the NBA may ever see. Both incredibly well-skilled. You know, <sighs> the Brooklyn Nets really did a number on those teams. And I don't understand why people are going absolutely crazy. Yeah, sure, the starting lineup for the Phoenix Suns is going to be mega. It's going to be incredible. But after that, I don't see much else happening. I don't see them getting out the first round, to be honest. I don't think you can win a seven-game series with four players. Prove me wrong, Phoenix Suns. Prove me wrong.